Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by ITNs. In this video, we shall discuss about the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2023. So you all know about the three Nobel laureates who got Nobel Prize in Auto Second Laser Pulse Generation and those three uh, Nobel laureates are Piera uh, Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Annie L. Wheeler. So let's first discuss that what was their discovery and uh, how it is important that they got Nobel Prize. So auto second pulses, you must know what to mean by auto second. So auto second is of the order of 10 to the power minus 2, uh, minus 18 second. So uh, laser having the pulse uh, duration of 10 to the power minus 18 second is called auto second pulses. So the lasers, let me take the laser pointer uh, to make you understand that what do you mean by laser pulses and how a pulse of laser can be described. So the laser pulses have uh, the pulse width of this, um, uh, the, uh, it's a Gaussian pulse. So it has a pulse width and the energy of the pulse can be measured uh, with the height of the pulse. So the spread of the pulse is known as the pulse width and height of the maximum height of the pulse that is specified as pulse energy. Now, uh, how they did, uh, uh, how uh, they did, I am not going to basically describe all the details how they generate auto second laser pulses, but I will tell you how they did, uh, how, what they have done and how it is useful uh, or for applications in real life scenario. So this new Nobel laureates, their experiments produce pulses of light so short that it can measure the dynamics in auto seconds. And this means that the pulses can be used to provide images of the process inside the atoms and molecules because the electron dynamics inside an atom or molecule is of the order of autosecond. So suppose you want to capture the motion of electrons or motion or dynamics of electrons. So you need a camera which can capture at the rate of the motion of the electron. So the motion of the electron of the order of 10 to the minus 18 second. So you need a camera that can capture uh, or that can rate the dynamics, capture the uh, dynamics of the electron within 10 to the power minus 18 second. So that's why the successful uh, success of this innovation, these pulses of 10 to the power minus 18 second ca can capture the dynamics of 10 to the power minus 18 second. And Al Hule uh, in 1987, she discovered that there are many different overtones of light when infrared laser light is transmitted through a noble gas. So how the overtones are generated, that I am not going to tell you. But if you, are, uh, uh, if you have a physics background, you know that there are several overtone vibrational frequencies when uh, light interacting with matter, there can be exchange of energy and that exchange can be uh, exciting, uh, uh, can transfer energy to the matter and the matter can also transfer energy to the photon or incident radiation. So that's why the light matter interaction can cause uh, exchange of energies or difference in energies of the incident laser pulse and the scattered laser pulse. And we will see many different frequencies, not only the incident laser frequency, but also other frequencies which can be more than that or which can be a mixture of different frequencies. So these are different overtones. So when the infrared light is transmi transmitting through a noble gas, the atoms or ions inside the gas can interact with the laser light and they can generate different laser frequencies. And she continued to explore this phenomena uh, 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 to uh, know that there are different overtones and that can be useful for generating different laser pulses. And then Agostini in 2001 was successful in producing and investigating a series of consecutive light, light pulses and they lasting just 250 autoseconds. So the duration of the pulse is just only 250 autoseconds. So that your camera of autosecond um, time, it will capture the motion of light, uh, capture the motion of electron within that particular time duration. That is very important.
and around the same time cross was also working and he had done the isolation of a single pulse from several pulses and isolation is very important because if you want to interact with one laser with the matter then you need isolated pulses and you can control um, the rate of pulses time duration of the pulse to interact with the matter or to interact with the gas to know the dynamics of the electron inside the gas or inside the matter okay so I have already discussed about the laser pulse width or the pulse rate. So now uh, there are very different techniques for using auto second pulses to know the dynamics of the system. So one technique is the pump probe technique where a pump laser of uh, lower frequency first is used to excite the matter and then a probe pulse of or probe laser of auto second pulse or higher uh, energy with the shorter uh, duration of time will be used to capture the motion of the interaction. So to briefly understand, let's see a video um, to check whether it is useful or not uh, for understanding. So this is the video that I will play and I will describe uh, how the pump probe technique is useful to capture the dynamics of inside the matter. So suppose the intense laser pulse is there is a, a system consisting of electrons. So there are the area of electrons in orange in color and the laser pulse is first interacting with the electrons or atoms. Here it is the, the atomic system and once interacting with the electromagnetic field it will make oscillation. So you send a laser pulse with a slow motion laser pulse having uh, and then uh, the laser pulse is interacting with the matter and these um, atoms inside the matter will get excited and will start oscillating. Now to measure the ultra fast motion of the atom you will send a second pulse and this is called a probe pulse and now you have the uh, you have the control uh, or uh, between the pump and probe pulse uh, signal duration so you can control when the uh, i will send the pump laser and when i will send the probe laser to the system okay so let's see how you can use the time duration of sending pump and pulse laser you can capture the motion of inside the matter. So see you first send the pump pulse and then immediately uh, after certain time you capture uh, you send your second pulse that is probe pulse and interacting with the system and you capture the photo because the interaction is very short because the pulse is very short so interaction is very short within auto second 10 to the power minus 18 second so the lifetime of the pulse is 10 to the power minus of the order of 10 to the power minus 18 second so the um, the interaction is of the order of 10 to the power minus 18 second and it is the dynamics of the electronic motion so electron motion is also of the order of 10 to the power minus 18 second so within a smaller motion of electrons smaller dynamical change of electrons you have interacted your pulse for that motion particular time duration and you captured the interaction so you know about the system right now now there is the second capture so now you send your pulse first pump probe and then probe laser and with a different delay time so first initially it was a different time duration now the probe pulse were sent at a later time so the delay duration is greater so now the initial time uh, motion is captured and next duration motion is captured with interacting with the probe pulse so it is the next delay duration so keep looking on the delay between the pump and pulse probe and 
keep also looking at the probe laser and the dynamics of the system so that position of the atom Now check the delay time is even more and the change in the position of the atoms is also different. So now we capture another time frame for the motion of the system. See the delay time is even more and now the atomic motion is quite different and this time we are capturing at a different time interval for the dynamics of to capture the dynamics of the system So you see with the different delay time between the pump and the probe pulse you captured all different orientation of the or all possible dynamics or vibrational motion in, inside the system due to the laser pulse and now you are able to tell that how the electrons inside the inside the system is moving with respect to time because your time is capturing the electronic motion of the order of the actual motion that is 10 to the power minus 18 second we can even further go to another example so this is another example where we can use the diffraction of x-rays by crystal at very short time and that can use that can be used to measure the uh, atomic vibration over time and also another uh, another technique called angle resolved photoelectron uh, photoemission spectroscopy and this technique can probe metals like in this setting the electrons are excited by the pump and probe photoemission that would measure the energy and the nature of the electronic excitation And also it can be studied for ferroelectric material spins. So the spins uh, by the carried by the atoms, they all are aligned in ferromagnetic material and that can be flipped by using a laser pulse because laser is electromagnetic radiation. So it has the magnetic field and the probe, uh, pump probe can be also used to study the dynamics, how the spin is flipped. So because the capture is of the order of 10 to the minus 18 seconds so you can easily find out the dynamics of the spin flipping or the reversal okay Finally, the laser pulse can also excite a single atom or molecule. Now by measuring how this atom returns to its equilibrium, this form of the electronic quantum wave function can be studied. So first you excite the single atom or single molecule by the pulse and then by a pump pulse and then you use the probe pulse to figure out how it's come back to its ground state. next we will see the hydrogen atom so we can see here how the hydrogen uh, breathing is is like a quantum mechanical state 
so it's a uh, hydrogen atom problem is a quantum mechanically so it's not like a single particle uh, uh, electron can be located within a particular duration so you have a natural question that the electrons are not like a particle like behavior it's uh, according to um, heisenberg uncertainty principle how can i measure the uh, position of the electrons because it's a wave like behavior not a particle like behavior these are all quantum mechanics so for your curiosity i would like to say you the capture is not a classical mechanical capture this is a quantum mechanical calculation where the probability will be calculated and the calculation is based on all the probable wave function and all the probable states so for example if we consider the hydrogen atom problem the hydrogen atom uh, the electrons can be considered a superposition state of 1s and 2p at the ground state so the time uh, with the auto second uh, pulse rate how can we see the dynamics of the uh, electron uh, at the ground vibe, uh, hydrogen atom so see how it is the vibration is happening and it's not about a single particle it's a superposition state of uh, 1s and 2p so they are the calculation is based on quantum mechanics the calculation is based on heisenberg uncertainty principle so now we well pretty well or i don't know how much you have understood the mechanics of pump probe technique or application of auto second laser pulse spectroscopy or the ultra fast spectroscopy but once you study want to study more then if you are curious to know it more then you can read many articles available in online and if you want to know more physics are from us and if you want to um, guide for your phd interview or integrated phd interview or test series for net uh, physics exam or programming guidance like python then you can surely contact on this phone number or our telegram channel or our facebook uh, physics by iitians channel so you are welcome to contact us thank you for listening this video and watching this video thank you so much please subscribe the channel like our video and keep us motivated thank you